Hi, I'm Duck, and I want to teach you something really cool that you can use with a function move liner. Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to make a platform here that is going to go up 32 units. I'll make a cage to come up from right here and go down, which will lock a C4, a weapon C4 in there. Okay, what we're going to do first, click on this block tool, go to browse for textures. I'm going to try to make this quick. Go to brick, type it in where it says brick floor, click on this alright, so I'm going to get this cl uh, click on the selection tool, click here do, click on the uh, block tool I want to make a base for the uh, C4 platform I'm going to make it 8 units high, click create object there we go uh, better move that up some, like about right there okay, now I'm going to add a uh, sides to it. So I'm going to start from here about 128 long and go up to about right there. Great object. Now I'm going to copy and paste this side to over here. So what I have to do is hold down the shift key uh, the mouse, left click, and drag it like that. Alright. So now we have two the sides. Use the block tool again and create the other side. Create object, selection tool, hold down shift key and drag, like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to hold down the control key, which selects more than any object. I'm going to click on these, right here. Hold down control T, and the uh, entity when it pops up for class, I'm going to just type in a uh, function move liner. And now I'm going to put this a C for platform. And there we go. Click apply. And this for the uh, move is move direction pitch y'all roll. We're gonna make it go up. Click apply. And the uh, move distance. Click cancel. I'm gonna make this the move distance go up. I believe 32 units. Okay. So double click on that. Go up. Move distance. Put in 32 units. Click apply. Cancel. Control save. Now I'm gonna create a cage to go over it, which I'm gonna type in for the uh, texture browse and type in grate. As you can see we got a list of uh, metal grates here. I'm going to click on this one. DE nuke slash nuke metal grate 01. Click on that and click on this block tool and pretty much just make like a side boundary around the uh, C4 platform and I'm going to make it 64 units high. Okay, okay. so now I'm going to uh, copy this, paste it here, hold on the shift key, and drag it. And create the other side. Create object, hold on shift key, and drag. Now I'm going to add a top to it. Okay. You need to reposition that. So create object, there we go. Now I'm going to hold down the control key, and select. Uh, after this, hold down Control T, tight entity for function uh, D or the uh, class type in function move linear for name. Put down as C4 great or something. For uh, this move distance, you want it to go down because I'm going to reposition it to go up. Okay, for right now, I'm not going to put any moving distance. Okay. So I'm going to make this go up, I'd say it about right here. Okay, you see it's up there. Now what I like to do, because this will go down until it touches whenever this goes up 32 units high, so it'll stop about right here. Okay, so I'm going to take, I'm going to measure right here, and drag this down. And each block right now is set at 8 units, so I'm going to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 32 units. I'm going to measure this, which is 536 units. So I'm going to go to Properties, Move Distance, 500 and... I believe I said 36. Click Apply. Yeah, 536. Okay. So this is going to go down 536 units, and it's going to stop whenever the uh, C4 platform goes up. Alright, now to add the C4. Pl now to add the C4. Um, I believe whenever uh, your map starts, if you have a C4 implanted into your map, 
the uh, terrorist will not have one. So, for the uh, click the entity tool, type in weapon C4, and in your uh, 3D view, click on your platform. Pretty much matches with the uh, face of the, of the object. Kind of drag it up just a little bit so that way it doesn't like stick into your move liner. All right, and pretty much all right. Okay, now we have the uh, move liner for C4 platform and the uh, great pretty much set. All right, now for the buttons. I've added two buttons here. I believe this button. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to do this. Okay, for this, um, uh, pretty much created like a uh, a texture. And I go to Control T and I type in Function Button. Click Apply. I'm gonna make this a, a C4 Open Great Close. Okay, I click Apply and don't need to worry about anything else but for flags make sure you click on don't move because if you press the button it will move and you don't want that now uh, okay for outputs what you want to do is add an output click on add uh, go to on pressed which will, if someone goes on pressed this will activate it and we're going to go to c4 platform then go to open click apply now we're going to add another one uh, go to unpressed. This one you want to go to C4 platform, or hold on, C4 great, and you want it to open. Click apply, click cancel. Now for this button, I want to make this button open up this grate. Of course, you can re pretty much reposition it somewhere else. All right, so hit Control T once you made your object, and go to uh, class, type in function button name put c4 great open click apply no you have to worry about good flags don't move click apply options uh, you want to add a target go to unpressed c4 great and you want it to close click apply cancel control save Okay, now once you uh, first start your map and you go up to the uh, button, it will, this platform right here will go up 32 units and this gate, or the uh, grate, will close on top of it. So that way no one can't get in there, no matter what they do, unless they press this button right here. Then the metal grate will go up. There you have it.